everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophia Rosado, and if you guys have never been here before, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Press that bell down below for each time I post a new YouTube video. In today's video, I am back home, and I am filming a video on my college life and what it's like going to college at AMDA and what it's been like. I am now a fourth semester student. I went through the accelerated program, so I'm going to be giving you guys like my insight and everything that I've experienced at this school because I've gotten so many questions from a lot of people that are going to AMDA soon or people that are looking into AMDA. So I definitely want to be there as a guide for you all. And I have a lot of experience now, now that I'm literally graduating in just a few months from the New York City campus. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Starting off, I'm going to scooch myself a little bit back, get a little cozy in the seat. I am a musical theater student. I am in the accelerated program where I started in the summer of 2020 and now I am graduating in the fall in October. I am so happy about my decision to commit to the school AMDA. I have no regrets. I looked at tons of musical theater colleges and musical theater programs and AMDA just really stood out to me and I really, really enjoyed my experience and I'm still enjoying my experience since I've not graduated quite yet. And originally my plans were to be in the BFA program where I was going to be doing two years in New York City and two years in California and my mind has changed. I am now only committing to New York City and not going to California for more school although I am going to California for auditions for movies and other things but I am not pursuing any more school at AMDA and that is actually not because I don't want to go to AMDA anymore it is a decision that I made on my own because I personally feel that the New York City campus gave me a lot of training so much so to where I feel comfortable enough to now go out and audition and experience the auditioning side of things because the main goal for me as a performer and my philosophy is that I don't want to be in school forever training 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 at the end of this I want to come out with a job I want to come out being a professional actress and performing and being a professional performer and booking singing jobs acting jobs dancing jobs musical theater Broadway TV and film, commercials, modeling things, all sorts of things. And I feel that I don't want to waste another two years of just staying in college. The industry is now opening up. We went through a very difficult year. COVID has really taken away a lot of opportunities, but it's also now coming back. Things are... I pray that things get better. I know that things are still bad out there and things might get worse, but I fingers are crossed that things get better. I've already auditioned for a bunch of things, so I'm waiting to hear back from those. So I really just want to take advantage of like the audition side of things. I'm going to be visiting California instead just for auditioning. So yeah, that is my first thing that I wanted to say because I know that a lot of people thought that I was going to be going to California for school at AMDA as well, and that has changed. Next question. I'm not gonna be listing who asked these questions because I don't know if they want their names out there so I'm just gonna like read some of them. The first question that I got asked was how can I get accepted into AMDA? Really be yourself, walk into that audition. It's actually a very comforting audition. It was one of the very chill auditions for me. I felt very comfortable. Just be yourself, have fun, put a smile on your face and show them what you got. <laughs> it's a performing arts school, so it's audition based and for my audition experience I had to come in with like a cut of a 32 bar cut I believe or a 16 bar cut have both 16 bar cut and 32 bar cut of your favorite choice of any song that you believe Showcases you the best and then you need to come in with like a monologue and then they'll be doing dance auditions Dance placements when you come in person they first accept you off of your singing and acting everything dancing wise is leveled they have like multiple levels so that you know they place you in the right correct level so that you feel like you are growing not just like 
riding through because people at AMDA come from all different backgrounds. There's per there's already people that have been on Broadway and they come in for training and then there's people that have, have had like no experience whatsoever and they're here to just start from scratch and they're training from the very beginning. So they're probably gonna be put in like a lower level and then there's other people that get put like straight up into the high level. I was in the highest level at the school. I came from a very performing arts background prior. I grew up always going to a performing arts school. I went to a performing arts middle school, high school, and then college. And then I also went and studied dancing at the age of two. So I was very performing arts life my whole life, basically. So for me, I already had training before AMDA. That made it a little bit easier on my behalf, but don't feel worried if you are a beginner and you're self-taught mostly, you can work your way up. So say they put you in a beginner level, you can then like the following semester, you could move up in the level. Right now they have something called cohorts instead of exactly leveled classes. You basically travel with the same group because of COVID I believe and I don't know if it's just because of COVID or if they kind of like switch their minds but they kind of put you in this group that you travel with now every single class that you go to but it's a cohort that the people in your cohort are similar to the level that you're in, so you're still gonna be growing, but it's just so that you're kind of with the same people every single day for the rest of that first semester, and then every semester you change cohorts and they like mix some people up so that you get to work with different people. So that's pretty exciting because then you get to meet more people, you get to work with different people because in this industry it's all about collaboration and meeting new people and being able to work with people even if like they're not similar to you. The next question I got is what's a day like at AMDA? A day in AMDA, I, like I said, I started in the accelerated program. So my days, first, second, and third semester, your day is pretty long. You have some 8 a.m. classes. That's the earliest class you'll have is an 8 a.m. You'll have like mostly morning classes as like a first, second, and third semester. You'll have like 8 a.m. to like four. Sometimes there was night classes, but not like night night, but more of like afternoon like three four o'clock three four five o'clock and but that was typically just like one class but most of your classes are in the morning four semester is like a completely different semester it's all about auditioning and then like recording and all four semesters have classes at night which consist from like anywhere from like 4 p.m. to like 11 p.m. It, your classes can go pretty late into the night, especially because we put on showcases during fourth semester where we showcase ourselves. We put out like these shows that you're gonna have to stay at school till like 11 p.m. And that's just the life of a performer. Like you're going to have busy days. The life of a performer is a busy day and that's what you signed up for when you started. I honestly didn't mind the busy, busy schedule, but you have to find self-care of course because when I first started off, I was so in my head about, oh my gosh, this is so much work. And you just have to have really great time management skills. You need to be on top of things, but you will get it. I promise you things will get get easy, easier once you find a routine, find a balance between school, mental health, and everything will eventually just like be great. I also, somebody else wrote pretty much anything I should know about AMDA. One of the things that I wish I knew, the dorm rooms. I didn't really, really realize that it's a walk to the school, but it's not too bad because everybody in your cohort that you travel with, like you can like text your friends and be like, hey, let's walk to class together because that is one thing. Never walk alone in New York City, especially at night. If it's dark, don't walk alone. Try to find a friend in your class that will walk back with you between the dorms and the school. I didn't realize that the walk is about a 15 minute walk from the dorm room to like the 61st location. And then there's another building on 54th Street, I believe, yeah, it's 54th, where you have to walk a 30 minute walk. A 25, 30 minute walk, depending on how slow or fast you walk, you could run it, you can, I don't know what you wanna do, but I don't run it, I just walk to class. A city is a place that never sleeps either, so you're never really alone on the streets of New York City. There's always like pedestrians walking on the street. There's food, shopping places, there's like a huge mall in Columbus Circle area. 
find friends to just go and walk with because I think that was the scariest thing for me. There was a few times that I have walked by myself, but don't do that. I recommend really, like I highly recommend like walking with somebody, especially if you don't know where you're going. Also put on a guard face too. I always like when I'm walking in the street of New York, I have this like face of like, don't talk to me just because it's like, you kind of have like a, a straight tunnel vision look like no don't talk to me i know what i'm doing just look like a new yorker and no one will bother you type look it's not a party school i also will say that if you're looking to party and like do a bunch of like party things it's not really a party school but there's people that have, will just be like hey let's like go to like the bar or like let's go to here and there or people that have apartments that don't live in the dorms they can invite you to their apartments and you guys kind of have like an apartment party I've, I've been to a few rooftop parties those are pretty fun just kind of like getting with friends but we don't and also because of covid we haven't had parties like be safe out there but i've definitely met the most amazing people from this school and i've had a really great experience with teachers all the teachers are professionals themselves that are currently working in the field that like can give you a lot of advice can give you a lot of like professional advice they can also like hook you up with connections you can also work with them you want to be a good student because your teachers will recognize that there's teachers that can cast you because we do have like teachers that are casting directors and they can cast you in their shows in the future be on your a game and be there and show up to class on time and don't be late because some teachers like will not like appreciate that before covid i was told that if you were like even just a minute late like you were not allowed to like come to class so just just show up on time be a good student dress however you want for dance classes you wear like a leotard and tights some dance teachers don't care if you wear leotard and tights but they just care that you can wear something that you can move in for like acting and singing classes you can wear whatever you clothes you want to wear they recommend that you wear flats like shoes that don't have like a heel on them because they want you to be grounded not like tripping over your feet when you're acting and performing unless they like ask for character shoes for shows purposes but you know most of the time like wear something that you feel comfortable in so many fun things to do in the city so definitely take advantage of like the location because it's an amazing safe location that you're in at amda you're right around central park i love taking walks for myself i love going to central park and just having like a me day and also there's days where i've had picnics with friends and i just love sitting out in the sun in the summertime in new york city at central park it's such a good time so the door Dorm rooms are pretty tiny, but it's literally like most people get singles. It's not so bad, so definitely don't worry about it. And you're not even, think about it like this too. Even though the dorm room is small, you're just sleeping in it. Cause literally for the most part, you're out and about, you're in class for like literally your whole day basically, or you're like wanting to hang out with friends. Just, you know, you don't have to like just stay in your dorm room. And I guess I could talk about the food. There's this thing called, we, we use this program called Cooking with Corey. It's not the best food in the world, but I believe that first semesters are required to have the meal plan. There are a bunch of snacks, more of like sandwiches and like chicken fingers and like food like that. And I'm very like, ugh, like I'm not into the, like always having a sandwich or like a wrap. It's kind of like lunch food that you had in high school. Like it's not like the best food in the world. It's good to treat yourself other than just using the school menu. Like go and enjoy that juicy burger or pizza. I got another question about financial aid. So basically you'll just apply for FASA and they, if they believe that you qualify for like some financial aid, they will give you financial aid. Based off of your audition, like if your audition was like incredible and they felt like you brought a lot to the table they can also give you scholarship money based off of your audition so if you had a good audition then they will send you an email and be like hey like we're offering you twenty thousand dollars because like yay good for you like you're so talented we would love to have you here and yeah so definitely they there's always like money opportunities but it is a pretty expensive school not gonna lie so another thing is like a pro of amda pros and cons type thing basically i have nothing negative to say about amda really it's been a great experience i was online for first and second semester and came in for my third and fourth semester because of covid but it's honestly the teachers are really kind and they push you to the max 
and I really met amazing friends from going to this school. Like, I'm from Connecticut, so I'm really not that far from the city. So I can visit my family, my family can visit me. There's museums. I recommend following an Instagram page called New York Bucket List. They put down like a bunch of like cool things happening in the city. So if you follow them, you get to see like all the fun events. I really just love AMDA too because I feel like they really give you what it's like being a professional. They treat each and every student like a professional. Every assignment that you get, every song that you do, everything that you do, you think about it in a different way. They really set you up for success. They set you up to be Broadway professionals. Like if you're a musical theater, they will treat you like a Broadway performer. They will give you a real experience. And I really just enjoy being around actors and singers and dancers every day because I'm so inspired. It pushes me to grow as an artist. I was also taking classes if you choose to do the BFA program because I am in the BFA program right now even though I'm not going to LA. I have been taking like classes like English classes and public speaking classes and I did another class called critical thinking. It was um, all part of that BFA training. If you do the BFA program, you have to do your arts classes on top of like actual academics, like math, English, science, things like that. My family has always been very supportive of me and they actually are very supportive about my decision right now because my family has always believed in me. It's really just up to you and your success. If you feel that AMDA New York gave you enough training, which I think it does, but everybody is, like I said, at a different level. Like if you came to AMDA with no experience, no training, then maybe you wanna pursue, maybe you want even more training and continuing in LA. But for me, I am I felt like I've already had so much training that I am so excited to just try the auditioning side of things and seeing where that takes me. And then possibly, the thing about AMDA is that if I do take a break, because basically I'm just like, saying that I'm not going to am to LA right now, but if I want to come back maybe like in a year to like get more, like go back to college, my spot is saved. AMDA like will save a spot for you. So if you say like, I wanna take a break, I wanna take a semester off, I'll come back next year. AMDA holds a spot for you. I think they only hold your spot for like a year or two, but with everything right now, I'm sure that like things are different because of COVID. So if you need to take a break, they're totally about, they do like, you can do a leave of absence. I never took any leave of absence because I just went right through and I'm 19 years old and I'm graduating college. It's crazy. I will be walking away with a conservatory degree. I've always looked at it this way. So as a performer, and I know parents maybe might be listening to this right now with their child, so I don't wanna like deflect things because I know everybody has their own opinion, but as a performing artist, you don't need college. And I'm saying that right now, you guys can fight me. <laughs> you guys can fight me. We're performers, right? And you're watching this right now. You're obviously probably a performer because you're watching this. When you walk into a Broadway audition or a movie call, they don't say, so what do you have a degree in? They never ask that. They look at your resume and if you say that you went to college somewhere, they don't really care. They, they care more about like what you bring to them and your talent. Like they don't really look at like, oh, you have to have a doctoral degree. <laughs> like it's just not like that. There's so many successful actors out there and performers that do not have a college degree. Some of them literally just have high school and some of them were even homeschooled child actors. School is very important and I'm not downgrading school. I went to school, I'm graduating with a conservatory degree. I feel prepared and ready to take on the world with my talents and I'm ready to audition and push myself and grind until I book a job. I am manifesting it. I will book a job on Broadway and in a movie. It's happening. It's set in stone. And yeah, so that was it for my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that I gave you guys a bunch of new tips. If you guys have any more questions, please comment down below on this video. I am always here for you all. And I really hope that if, if there's any like incoming AMDA students, I'm so excited for your journey. You're going to have so much fun. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. And I really believe AMDA is the beautiful school. It's an amazing school and it gives you just the right training that you need to make it in this industry and I love you all so much make sure you guys like comment and subscribe press that bell down below to be alerted for each time I post a new video I love you guys so much Mwah. ciao